Hello everyone, this is Naya Tarots and welcome back. This is a pick a card about what's next, what's, go what's going to happen in your love life. You can watch this video whenever you like. If you're in August, I'm doing this basically at the end of July, but this message is endless. It resonates whenever you are watching it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Again, if the message doesn't resonate with you, choose another deck or it means that the message is not for you. But I need to be honest, I'm straightforward and I interpret the cards by their means and by what, what I'm feeling. So sorry if it doesn't resonate. And if you want a more private reading, all the details are in the box down below. Please guys, read it down. Everything is on there, the payment and everything about it. And uh, you can add me at Instagram at Cleopatra Witch if you want to follow me or you have any further question. Okay, let's jump into this reading. What's next in your love life? Obviously, this could play out for single people for people that are in a commitment relationship, we'll see what comes, like seriously. Choose between the deck number one, number two, number three, and number four, and let's get jumped. Uh, whatever. <laughs> the group number one, what's coming next? Right. Whew. We have the nine of swords. The Knight of Swords is all about thinking and rethinking and thinking and just being paranoia and anxious about something. Why are you anxious? Then we have the Five of Cups. You're probably anxious because uh, like the Five of Cups is about confusion. It's about not seeing like being disappointed, but the Cup of Love is there, but you're not able to see it. Why are you not able to see it? And then we have the eight of wands. The eight of wands is communication. It's fast communication. It's success. It's achievement. So, and the angel is saying, express your love. Right. For me, it's uh, what's coming next, you getting out of your paranoia. And I'm sorry for being so straightforward, but you can't be anxious about something unless you don't communicate how you feel to the other person. Again, if it doesn't resonate, you're welcome to choose another deck. This message needs to be heard by someone. And um, it's all about that you're thinking that you lo lost this person, but actually this person doesn't know what's going on. They don't know that you're so anxious. And if you're single, it means that you're overstressed yourself about the fact that you can't find someone but you don't see that everything happens for a divine purpose and you're gonna have a fast communication with someone and it's it's about time to just push forward it's not time for being anxious so that's what coming next like you're, you're, the advice from the tarots, I think, are just like moving away from this anxious period and moving towards a more sincere and authentic communication. Either you're single and someone comes, be authentic. If you are in a relationship, it's about time to express each other your true feelings, group number one. Now, let's see what the Isis cards are saying as a suggestion, and then um, I will take some cards if I need. Soul retrieval, deep soul healing with the goddess. Yeah, it's about time. It's about time that you heal. Like, it's, I think like you're focusing on the wrong cops in the sense that you're focusing on all the bad things that was in the past. And probably this is a period, as I said, with the eclipses that got rid of a lot of people that were in good for you. And now it's time to just step out of this anxious um, mood and look forward for the things that the next eclipse is going to bring in our life or if you're watching this in another period of time it's about time to step away from the paranoia it's about time for going out again and heal truly heal from within and you know express your love and start to be authentic first with yourself because it's only by being authentic with yourself that then you understand what you want and so what you want is it's gonna manifest into your life so yeah this is the overall energy let's see with some additional cards if I get more of a clear message of what's coming next but definitely what's coming next is a fast communication a message an email something probably unexpected but something that is going to push you forward and outside of your comfort zone and outside of your paranoia it's something that it's like that you have to heal let's see group number one what's coming next yep yep the empress 
you're getting your power back. That's what's coming next for some of you could mean pregnancy as well. And yeah, what's coming next is you getting your power back. Just like, yeah, stepping away from problems, from paranoia, stepping away from people that don't serve you anymore. And yeah, the time of juggling and rebalancing, this is a, also a card of communication, a slower communication. And this is a card also of rebalancing your emotion and again, step away from this anxious period. And the seven of wands, it's all about not giving up in your own reign or regaining your power. I think like what's coming next into your life is actually having the balls to be your divine feminine or divine masculine. With the, the Empress, it's all about being a divine feminine. It's all about, yeah, regaining your power back, like knowing what you want and having uh, good conversations with yourself that will heal yourself and eventually if you are in a relationship will heal the other person too and it's about time it's the moon i think like you're watching this by the time of the eclipse so just like it's it's time like the moon really affected you and you know it's time to walk away from certain things and it's time to yeah regaining your power back that's what i think it's coming next in your love life uh, be the empress okay group number one and again expressing your love towards someone that's what's coming next like being sincere and be truly authentic within this healing process Okay, group number one, I hope this resonated with you. Let's jump into group number two. Wow, it's so warm outside. I'm really melting. I'm really melting. But anyway, never mind. <laughs> Let me put this here. Okay, let's jump into group number two. What's coming next in your, in your love life? Right. We have the full, infinite possibilities, new beginning, moving forward, like in a very naive uh, way, but like new things, uh, new adventures are coming for you in your love life. Sensing a uh, single vibe, not too sure yet. The two of ones, you are, you have some desires within and you're kind of understanding how to have this new beginning and how to push forward, but it's definitely time to decide and yeah, you know, go for it, this action. What's coming next? What's coming next is the world. Like, you're gonna meet probably a person that you're gonna completely fall in love if you're single. Have a new beginning. This person is just like your wildest dreams. If you are in a committed relationship, it's about time to have the world, to have whatever you want and desire. That's what's coming next into your love life. And we have marriage. Ha! This could resonate with single people and also with um, with people that are committing an engagement, committing a relationship. Either you're going to get married, you're going to meet someone and that is going to be your ultimate soulmate. Or you are in a marriage and you're just like, you're starting brand new with this person. You're starting like a new journey, a new chapter of your life. Again, take what resonates with you, but definitely I see like having the world having like a full new cycle and a new full beginning that will bring like this situation involves marriage that will bring you what you want which is probably the ultimate commitment as i call it and then we have money and work it's like you're worried about money and finances and that's why it's pushing yourself back to meet someone new or it's kind of like money has to do with your love life money has to do with your love life and again it could resonate in millions and millions of ways like it could even mean that this person again lives far away you do not have the money to visit them but whatever might be your case so you can go and watch my other pico cards because i talk about these cards so many times in my readings it's just like everything will be resolved you're gonna have a new beginning and the world like new cycle and it's gonna last a year, like it's gonna take a year because usually the world, it's about a full cycle. The world could also mean you're gonna settle down with someone foreigner. It could also mean you're gonna settle down in a place that it's not your own country or could also mean traveling. Again, we have tons of possibility out here, but I think the overall message is just, you're gonna get that commitment. You're gonna get what you want. You just, what's coming next? A beautiful destiny, that's what's, what's coming next. Let's see what the Isis Oracle card... Oh, I can't believe these cards showed up! The spirit of Isis, the triumph of the goddess. Seriously, 
Why are you even here watching this video? Like, this is the best card of the Isis Oracle deck. It's about the the goddess Isis, as set as I like her to call her, is with you. And she doesn't matter what struggling you are at the moment. She's going to bring you tons of abundance. She's going to bring you success. This is the chariot card. This is the world card. This is the sun card mixed together. It's like... I'm sensing that you're like feeling, oh God, like all oh, swords energy. It's about time that I win. Yep. And this is your time to shine. That's so beautiful, group number two. I hope this resonated with you. Invite me to the marriage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Let's jump into group number three. What's coming next into your love life? Wow, it's so warm. Then we have the star. Oh, the star. It's, a, it's all about finding the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, it's you dived into your shadow, into, into the dark so much that what's coming next is like, it's that star. It, that, it's that star that will guide you where you need to go. This is what the stars mean, Aquarius probably, not necessarily. And then we have the judgment card. The, Yep, karma. Karma, getting back. You're getting back karma. Soulmate relationship, probably, if you are searching for someone. It's about to rebalancing the karma throughout the eras with the star. The star are not negative, especially if they are not in the reverse. So I think it's a soulmate connection. It's like it's someone coming from your past life. It's about some someone coming from, yeah. The judgment, it's all about karma, getting things back, getting things rebalanced. And we have the page of cups. The page of cups is a Pisces probably, whoops, or is someone very young who has an inner child nature and someone that brings you love, but it brings you love in a very unusual and different way from what you're used to. And the angels are saying, oh, well, no surprise past life relationship yes you know this person from the past from the past i mean past life yeah what's coming next you're a soulmate what's coming next is a past life relationship but where are my cards where are my cards where are they i can't find them here I want to shuffle more of the Angels Romance Oracle deck for you. I do it differently for every deck, so don't even bother about it. Like, I do it differently. But it's like, yeah, you're getting a soulmate back. What is this person that is coming to your life? Someone that you don't have a clue who they are, but the minute that you're going to see them, you're going to have that instant recognition. Hmm. That's what I'm sensing, or whatever. Well, playfulness, again, this person, it's like, it's an inner child, this person is young, they want to play, they want to, yeah, it's all about fresh, fresh, fresh new starts, and then we have attraction, and then we have, it's safe for you to love, it's time to open your love, to open your heart to, to the divine energy of love, the supreme energy of love. What can I tell you? What's coming next? The soulmate connection. Big love. You're gonna have a big love. Someone that, yeah, it's been with you a lot of time, a lot of centuries with you, and that's that's beautiful. And then we have the um, serpent of fire, priestess of the serpent sisterhood. Sexy, 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 sexy passion. That's what you're gonna have. Let me read a bit the book about this because it has a beautiful message. And look at this card, this Egyptian deck. I love it so much. So, so, so much. Now, like the serpent of fire. Hold on a minute, 152. I always read a bit this book sometimes because I want you to have the full message. Isis, the priestess of the serpent sisterhood and queen of the serpent of fire, guides you through transformation now. As your energy field grows stronger and old energies are burned away in the process of your growth. Trust that you are growing and more capable than you have been previously. Do not assess your current ability based on past standards. As they no longer apply to you, you are stronger and more powerful now than you have been before. You need to learn afresh what you are capable of and Isis helps you now. 
Well, uh, at the beginning of the, uh, the reading, I started saying that, yes, you're going out of the darkness. So you're going to have karma back. It's time to be powerful. Power, you're going to gain back your power. If you are bond with the symbolic of Isis, a set of ser- snakes and serpents, I highly suggest you to dive deep into Tantra and the serpentine's ways. I can do a separate video about it. But definitely what's coming next is uh, a soulmate. Relation, a past life relationship and you need to be strong for that judgment card the karma rebalancing the karma well you need to let me know this is really like interesting really interesting okay group number three i hope this resonated with you wow you're so mysterious i think you're a very mysterious person or the person that you're going to attract is also a mysterious type of person so interesting i want to know more now let's see for group number four what's coming next in your love life we have the two of pentacles the two of pentacles it's indecision it's juggling having slow communication Mm -mm. rebalancing a bit the emotion having this sort of dance where you don't know what you want but you actually do but you don't know (laughs) kind of this is your energy then we have the eight of um swords the eight of swords is like you are blindfolded you're blind you're not seeing that the road is taking you somewhere really precise and what is coming next is the four of ones it's commitment it's stability it's marriage it's having the the stability vibe into this confusion but i think this stability will come with someone that is not the person that you're thinking of is someone completely different the angels are saying no mutual love so there isn't enough alchemy for you to commit and to actually build a relationship and then at the same time so we have romantic feelings i need to shuffle a bit of more cards what's coming next i think is choosing between um, between two people one person is not the right one for you and another one the feelings are real the feelings are there and this person really wants to commit with you so you're kind of blindfolded at this time you're not you're not too sure which person you want or this could be the contrary they might be not sure of um, who to choose between you and someone else but you know that you can give them those romantic feelings and that commitment and the other person can't so it's all about juggling this this emotion rebalancing them and yeah kind of taking a decision but it's like you can't see you can't see it coming with the eight of swords you're not too sure if this is going to come or not so i need some additional cards for you group number four what's coming next Oh my god, I can't believe it. You're stubborn, huh? Eight of swords. Eight of swords twice. You just like, you need to tell me what's happening because it seems like you can't see who is the right person for you. But you see, this is just an illusion. The eight of swords is an illusion because she is, yes, blindfolded with all the swords around her. But at the same time, she absolutely know how to free herself because their road it's wild open in front of her so just dive deep you know that who is the right person for you don't go for the wrong one choose wisely then we have the five of wands the five of wands is competition is arguing for stupid silly things i'm feeling that you will need to choose between two people or they need to choose between you and another person but you're gonna have that commitment next but it, i think it's not the person that you're thinking about and then we have the seven of pentacles waiting you're waiting you're probably waiting to take this decision or you're waiting for them to take this decision but still they didn't answer what's coming next i think like it's so confusing what one of these person it's gonna bring you commitment these are too many cards the sun showed up so yeah definitely one of them is going to bring you commitment what's coming next the queen of cups it's like you're not giving the love to the right person you're uh, you're healing the bottom of the deck the seven of swords be aware that you can't like someone is manipulating you someone is not corresponding you can you say that in english but whatever it's just like choose wisely the person that actually truly loves you don't even argue about it step away from this argument and uh liberate yourself liberate yourself let me see i'm gonna just shuffle other cards for you number four because i'm feeling that 
You're not feeling right. It's just like a very heavy energy and keeping the love for yourself. Mm. We have sincere conversation that needs to be involved here. Very soon you're going to talk with this person and actually arrive to a point. And we have religious factors that might be going on into your life religious factor that might be going on you're from different religion spirituality has something to do here they probably like you don't even feel that that spiritual connection you probably want more out of life and this cards i highly suggest you that yes yes go for it go for something better because something better is waiting for you on the other side of the road don't don't be there waiting for someone that doesn't deserve you now, let's see what the Isis card... Well, well, stay true and be in your power. Yep. Oh, well, we got a theme. Osiris and Isis, lords and lady of the divine authority. Yep. Be in your power. Don't stay there and wait. Wait for what? For someone that doesn't choose you. Love is about taking someone as a part of you. It's about, it's about like your true soulmate, your true love, twin flames, whatever. Whatever that situation might be, it will choose you out of every everybody else and uh, that's what i believe in i believe in love i believe in this highest higher energy and love is an inclusive energy so don't stay there waiting for someone that you don't need you know just unfold yourself and go for the person that actually show you these romantic feelings because th they are true go for the person that shows you love not for the person that hides the love and keeps the love for themselves Okay, group number four. I hope this was clear. It was actually like a really heavy energy. So again, take what resonates with you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. Again, if you have any suggestion of Pika cards, please comment down below. Tell me your stories. I always read your comment. And thank you so much for the people that subscribe and ask me private reading. You keep me so busy. And again, don't, don't, don't be in fear. Fear is the opposite of love. And you're never wrong if you follow love. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.